I've been watching the videos from this organization called Stop Having Kids, which is a vegan antinatalist activist organization that goes out and I guess pickets and spreads their message. And I noticed that when the antinatalist idea is confronted, they don't seem to ever have a really good justification for it. So I figured I'd put forward my reasoning for why antinatalism is true and why having children bringing new life into this world is ethically wrong. To me, it's quite simple. First, I actually am a pretty happy person, I would say. I used to be depressed, but I've managed to find a comfortable and satisfying niche in this world. Of course, I realize that it can't last, and that eventually I will inevitably decay and die unless I muster up the courage to take my life beforehand. That said, I have observed that there are people in this world who suffer immensely, who suffer to the point of suicide. People born with horrible deformities that crush them, that cause them continual torment and pain, that cause them deprivation. People who are unloved undeservedly. People who are left alone. Those who are murdered. Those who are raped. Those who go hungry. This world is brutal. This existence can be so brutal. And at any moment, our lives can move from something which is bearable to a living hell. Who can deny this? Who can go through life without observing these truths? That there are those for whom life is truly unbearable. These people exist and oftentimes we encounter them in our own lives. That's how numerous they are. They aren't rare, such people. And in your life, perhaps, you've gone through rough spots as well, where you're tormented, where you'd much rather just die. There is good in life. There is joy. There is fulfillment, but none of it lasts. There is suffering and inevitable death. We know this. So when you're thinking about having a kid, you need to consider, can you control this child utterly so that he or she does not become a miserable person? Can you control it? Can you control their genome so that they're not born with horrible deformities can you control their environment so that they don't pick up some pathogen like leprosy, like Ebola, like the fucking flu? <laughs> All these diseases, you can't control it. What if they're struck by lightning? What if they're caught in a fire or ran over but not killed, merely crippled? sent catatonic or their minds locked up, locked in syndrome. You cannot control it. It's out of your control. Whether you believe in free will or not, it's out of your control because none of us are all powerful. So when you decide to have a child, you are taking a gamble. You're pulling a lever where maybe the outcome 90% of the time is that you 
produce a child who is content with life, who never needs to even question the goodness of life because he knows only joy. A truly happy and fulfilled person who dies in their old age, content on their deathbed. There is that chance you could create such a person, but you could just as easily, although I'll admit it might be the minority. You might create someone who loathes their existence. You might. And you give them no choice but to come into this world. You are imposing something upon them, obviously. And it is this imposition that makes the creation of a new human being wrong. It is this imposition. You're gambling with someone else's life, not your own. That is wrong. You don't force people to do things let alone enter into this great drama called life. The environment, for the antinatalist argument, the environment, its decay, its decomposition, global warming, these things are irrelevant. The strongest argument from antinatalism is what I just put forward, that of imposition. It is an imposition. We know that unhappy people exist. We know that you cannot fully control the path your child might take in life. Therefore, when you are having a child, you are taking a gamble for your own vanity that might result in a miserable person who perceives this world as hell. So it is therefore wrong to bring new human life into this world.